Hi everyone, hope you're well. Welcome back to my vlog. This is my first vlog for 2019. Today I'm taking you on my food and dessert journey around London. So hop on and find out where I go, what I eat, what I think of the food and the place. I'm on Baker Street, home to Sherlock Holmes. I've come to Burgerista. Apparently, they have a few of these in London, but this is the original one. And it's halal. I do love the decor, it's very comforting and cozy. I ordered myself a spicy chicken burger meal. Portion for one person is quite nice. Comes in a brioche bun. It comes with fried crispy onions, gherkin, and smoked cheese. The chicken is marinated well, it's quite succulent and soft and moist. The only downfall is that they could have been generous with the mayonnaise, but overall the burger was really nice. I've come to the Hummingbird Bakery on Portobello Street. A few of my friends keep going on a party, so I thought I'd give the bakery a try. They've got a few bakeries around London, but I'm guessing the one on Portobello Street is a smaller one. They've got a spectacular range of cupcakes, from vanilla to red velvet to Nutella. They've also got a selection of big cakes, chocolate cake to carrot cake to rainbow cakes. It took me a while to decide what to buy, but at the end I thought, I'll buy the lemon raspberry ripple cake. The cake itself was really nice, really soft, really moist. It tastes really good. But the icing was just too sweet for my liking, even though I've got a sweet tooth. I also bought the Nutella cupcake. The sponge was nice and soft and the icing was fairly light. I was impressed with the cupcake. Dark sugar is perfect for someone who loves chocolates. It's like chocolate heaven. But I went to visit them for their famous hot chocolates. I had their signature hot chocolate. It's rich and creamy and tasty and perfect for cold weather with their chocolate shavings. The only sad thing was I thought the portions were small, but apart from them, it's I could have had another one of them to be fair.
Kingsley Court. As you can see, the vibe and atmosphere is buzzing. It's a quite a nice open space area. With loads of restaurants and bars and clothes shops. It's quite a retro, funky thing. But I've come just to visit Strats because I've heard they do the finest American burgers. It's quite a small restaurant. But it's got a really good view because it's an open kitchen so you can see what they're doing and then if you sit by the window you've got an open view to the whole of the open area I ordered the spicy hot chickadee and Cajun fries I was very keen on the fries but the burger was really nice the chicken was well marinated and it was quite succulent and moist and the whole burger with the onion rings and everything just went perfectly well so if you had ever down Go to Kingsley Court to Strax Burgers, they do some fabulous burgers. Afternoon tea at a Sketch, as you know, it's well known and it's quite famous for your Instagram pictures. I'm sitting in the pink room. It's crazy colours, but it's really nice to be fair. It's quite interesting and very flamboyant, but it's really peaceful. I find it very peaceful and calm. I ordered myself a Victoria sandwich. Yum yum. Coffee latte. And green tea, got too greedy. I couldn't leave without showing these amazing toilets. I think they're quite spectacular. I've never seen anything like this. I'm a complete spectacle about toilets, you see. I don't want to use them. But it's quite grand. Very pretty. Chinatown. Oh my god, if you're ever in Chinatown, you have to visit this place. They do the most amazing, succulent, and tasty chicken. I ordered myself the chicken breast. Now, with this, I think they beat the chicken down, dust it with flour, fry it, and then just sprinkle salt and pepper and chili flake, chili powder. The chicken was just tender, juicy, and really tasty. I think that's the best chicken I've had. In ages, just be careful, it is quite hot, but it was just amazing. I'm going to show you more pictures, a close up picture of it. 
Next, I ordered myself a volcanic cheesy chicken. And this is like a chicken breast with cheese inside it. As the cheese kind of oozes out a bit. This was really nice too. It had a bit, it had flavour to it with the cheese and the chicken and the spices. It's quite fit. This one's a bit filling to be fair. Because, by the way, the chicken's all halal here. And if you're ever in Chinatown, you need to check out this joint. It's really nice. It's a bit small, but it's absolutely amazing. You can't go wrong, to be fair. There's two things I really love. I love flowers and I love cakes. I think they're just as pretty and as gorgeous and as colourful as each other. I'm at the Peggy Portion Bakery. It's absolutely gorgeous and look at their lovely cakes. They're petite but they're very glamorous and very colourful. I just can't stop looking at the decor. The decor and the theme is splendid to be fair. As some of you may know, it's really famous on Instagram for its lovely pictures which you can't go wrong to be fair, you have to take pictures of yourself when you're at Peggy Potion Bakery how gorgeous is that now I ordered myself a summer berry cupcake and it's got a jam in the heart, it was absolutely gorgeous now in this piece of your market, it's well known as a Sweeney it's classified as a high-end market than any other markets in London. It's open seven days a week. It attracts a lot of tourists and it attracts a lot of people that work around it, which like to indulge and have a very social time after work. It's unique because the collection of fashion and creativity is what you can't find in normal shops. It has incredible selection of food, from burgers to Chinese food, Turkish food, Indian food. It has a huge collection of high-end fashion, fabulous vintage art, to jewellery, makeup, music and also it has homeware and a selection of bars and restaurants. So join me on my tour at Spitofia Market. I've been told that they do some amazing dumplings so I've got my eye out for dumplings and some dessert. 